Hello friends, welcome back to Happy Out Home. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to create a moody room in your home. I'm gonna give you my seven tips to create a moody room in case you are interested in doing, like, in doing something like this to your house. And Bentley is going to be joining us. He just heard me talking, so he popped up and he ran over here. So let's get started on seven tips to creating a moody room in your home. So we all love a white room, right? It's bright, it's beautiful, but if you've ever thought about painting a room a very dark color, it is a great idea and I will give you some reasons why. Dark rooms are elegant, they're sophisticated, and they're actually quite calming. You may think that an overly dark room can get depressing, but I will give you tips to avoid that and just show you how to create a very calming, dark, moody room that is not depressing. So paint the walls of a room a dark color black, dark blue, mossy green, or brown will give a room new life. This is our dining room and we paint it, painted it a dark brown and the color is called Flax, F-L-A-X. It's a restoration hardware color and it is absolutely one of my favorites. I don't think they make paint anymore. This was back in the day when they were uh, making paint they don't manufacture paint anymore, but I still do have the color palette and you can take it to your local paint store and ask for the color and say, I would like um, you to make me some flax by Restoration Hardware and they should have the formula. So it is still in existence for as far as I am concerned. It's still in existence as far as I know is what I meant to say. So when it comes to a room, if you don't want to commit to four walls because you're a little worried about it, you can just paint an accent wall. You can paint an accent wall black to give you an idea of whether you'll like it or not. You can always paint the other walls later, but, start, but starting with just one wall can give you an idea of whether you're gonna like the look, the feel, and the vibe of the room. Another idea to add moodiness to a room is maybe just do a built-in. If you have a dining room with a built-in, maybe just paint the built-in a dark color to see if you like it instead of painting the whole room. You know, that can give you another idea and help create a moody room, but starting off very slowly. Another idea is to add a bold, dark wallpaper. Whether it's just an accent wall or the entire room, bold wallpapers can make a huge statement. One with you know a dark background and big, huge flowers are beautiful. Um, you can add pastel colors into the wallpaper. I've seen a lot of very beautiful wallpapers. I I don't have any in my home now, but you know starting off very small and just doing an accent wall with wallpaper is a great way to add moodiness to a room. A bathroom or a powder room is also a great choice for a dark pattern, a dark bold pattern, and due to the size of the room, it's not going to overwhelm it. So tip number six, if you are creating a moody room and you are painting the walls a dark color, I suggest that you paint the crown molding the same color if you have crown molding in that room, that is. You wouldn't want a separation and have the crown molding be white and have the rooms be dark. It's just not gonna give you that moody feel. Um, so I suggest you paint the crown molding the same color as the walls. We don't have that issue in here. We did um, beams on the ceiling. We actually had these created, um, built, that is, and I left them um, pretty stark. I didn't add the crown molding in between. I may go ahead and do that just to add a little bit more of a traditional look to it. But as you can see, the ceiling is all one color and there is no separation with the wall. So 
I didn't have that issue, but I do suggest that if you do have the crown molding, paint it the same color. Tip number five, if you are looking to paint an entire room dark, I suggest you pick a room with a window and one that gets really good natural light. Our dining room gets a lot of natural light throughout the day because it has this very large arched window, so that is great. I would not paint a room completely dark if it does not have any windows or get any light. And the exception to this room is, the exception to the rule is a room that is used minimally, such as a powder room. Our powder room is black, and I can show you um, what it looks like, and it feels elegant and it does feel sophisticated. Occasional use rooms are okay to paint dark if they don't have any natural light, but not for everyday use where you spend a lot of time. And this is where we go back to a room feeling kind of depressing. You wouldn't want to paint uh, your family room a very dark color if it has no windows at all, and you spend a lot of time in there during the day. It's just going to be too heavy and kind of depressing and a little bit overwhelming. So that's not going to be a good feeling. So you want to stay away with a main living area that doesn't have any windows and going completely dark because it will be just way too dreary. This is our powder room, which does not have any windows and it is painted black, completely black, all four walls and um, have a vanity in here, a mirror and just two sconces and an overhead recess light. But here's an example of a very small room, gets occasional use, and it is fine to paint all four walls black. And I love it. I absolutely love this room being black and it's kind of like a destination powder room. So it's, it, it's great. This is the one exception. Occasional use rooms, in my opinion, are okay to paint completely black and dark. Number four, my tip if you are creating a moody room is to keep the room accents light. Our furniture is very light co colored and it complements the walls. The furniture, as you can see, the buffet in the back, it is a natural wood, as is this table, which is covered by a tablecloth, but it is reclaimed wood and it is just very light colored. So I did go light with the furniture. Adding pastel colored items to the room will lighten it up and make it feel well-rounded. Adding in some soft pinks or blues. You know, I have color in the artwork, some lighter colors that just makes it feel, that will lighten it up and just make it feel very well-rounded. Contrasting colors, of course, when done right, give a room elegance and visual interest, such as black and white or blue and white. As you can see, I added in some fun colors with this tablecloth, which I consider an accent. And so many colors go with this wall color that you know I'm always playing around with and having fun with. Um, in our prior home, we changed all the flooring to a dark color. And we pulled all of the flooring up and we replaced it with like a very dark, espresso brown color and that created a moody look in the home and we painted the walls actually like a medium brown it wasn't a light brown but it was a medium brown and here I'm trying to talk a little bit about the contrasting of light and dark when you do it right even adding um, flooring having a dark flooring can help create a moody room as you can see our floors are not completely not light they are a um, black walnut, so they do have a little bit of color to them. And when contrasted with the walls, they do have some light in there. You know, with a uh, dark colored wall, the contrast is still very nice. And neither of them are too dark. It's not like a black floor with a black wall, which you would want to stay away from. So as a general rule of thumb, dark floors with dark walls will make a space a little bit too heavy and look unbalanced. 
and overwhelmed. But if you do it correctly, it can look beautiful and perfectly balanced. Okay, number three, how to create a moody room. Adding plants and florals to add that perfect pop of color. Here I have a large faux fiddle leaf tree. I love bringing the outdoors in and adding colors that you would see outside to the inside of our house. And I always use flowers and faux florals on the table to brighten up the space and make it feel airy. These are real flowers um, that are starting not to look great. The roses are starting to look a little sad, but out in the foyer, I have some faux florals. But, you know, adding pops of color to the room with accents can lighten up the room and just make it feel very balanced and moody and not too heavy. Number two, my number, uh, my second tip, number two tip, having a dark moody room doesn't mean that you can't add in pops of another fun color. I added this cabinet, which I painted blue and gold, and it ties in beautifully with the brown walls and the accents all around. It ties in with the painting and it ties in with the chairs outside in the foyer. You can add in darker, cheerful colors. Just keep them to a minimum and use them as accents. As many of you know, if you've been following along, I recently added this cabinet. It was in my family room and I added it in here when I did this spring tablescape. And it looks fantastic in here. I love it. I love it with the dark moody walls gets a lot more sunlight in here than it did. There's Bentley again, he wants to be on camera. It gets a lot more sunlight in here than it did in the other room. And I just love it in this little corner. Let's take a closer look. It's getting the perfect amount of sunlight today too. And it just ties in very well with the room. And this is, you know, not a color that um, this particular type of blue is, I don't have a lot of this other color in the room. I do have some other blue accents like from the plates and I have blue in the carpet. So this is a neutral carpet with blue accents. You know, the blue is a darker color and the white is a lighter color. So again, balancing the moodiness of the room with the dark walls, medium floor color, medium brown flooring, along with a light carpet with some dark accents. Again, just creating a balanced room. And the number one tip I have to create a moody romantic room is what you choose in your lighting. I have a crystal chandelier in here. It provides just a beautiful romantic feel. The lights are warm and the bulbs are an Edison bulb and they have just the perfect amount of glow for the room. These Edison bulbs they don't look too bright and they're perfect for a dining room where you want lights a little dimmer because you are having a romantic meal. You know, you're gathered around with friends, family, and you just want intimate conversation, you know, with whomever you are with, um, partner, husband, wife, and these soft glow bulbs just create that perfect moody feel that just makes it feel really nice. I don't suggest using them in, you know, a main living room where it's, you want to read, you know, it's not going to be enough light. It's just going to, it's going to be too dim for you. And even with reading glasses, it's just going to be difficult and probably frustrating. But in a dining room such as this, having the soft glow is just perfect. The chandelier in here is perfect. The sconces are perfect. And it's, 
just adds into creating the moodiness of the room. I am going to show you an evening um, view because that's when you can really feel the moodiness of the room. If you haven't seen my other videos, um, I just want to show you what it looks like in the evening because, again, that's when the moodiness just really shines through and where I just love spending time in this room. I love coming in here during the day when the light is shining in through the window. It feels great, too. And I sit over in the, the I sit over there in the corner, sorry, not a corner, over there on the big wing chair and the light is shining through. I love it, but again, a lot of natural light, but it's also just so fabulous in the evening to come in here and sit and have a glass to drink or eat, have a, a glass of wine or a cup of tea and have dinner. It's just a great area and does feel just incredibly moody and serene. So I am going to show you um, an evening view of it. I hope you like it. I hope you like the tips. I just wanted to give you some tips because I get so many questions on the paint color in this room. So many questions like on Pinterest and my blog and you know on Instagram. So I just wanted to give you my tips dark moody rooms are really in and you know it's just paint if you hate it you can paint over it but you know they're just gaining in popularity more and more people are going away from the white walls and they just want some color so in the main area of your home maybe you do want white walls but in you know a particular room or two you do want an accent an accented moody room so i wouldn't paint my whole house a dark color but one or two moody rooms, I think just feels really nice. And I think you will like it too. Okay, that's it for me. Please like and subscribe. Check out my prior video on this spring tablescape dining room. I have all of the sources linked as well. This is what it looks like during the day. Not sure I had a day time view in my other video. That's what it looks like. And there's Bentley, he wants to say hi to you. So this is what it looks like. And again, I'm gonna put on a little clip showing you in the evening where you can just really feel the moodiness of the room. Thanks again, appreciate you liking, subscribing, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will be back with another video very soon. Bye. Thank you.